Hi Aquarius, it's thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you were doing really, really well. So we're going to take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness for the week, guidance and possible outcomes. I will also choose a couple of uh, oracle cards for additional information. And again, this reading can help any sun, moon or rising Aquarius signs. So let's go ahead and get started with your reading. Terms of, uh, in terms of awareness, we have the Eight of Swords and we have the Knight of Cups. So the Eight of Swords, we see the woman here standing in the puddles and she is bound and her, she's blindfolded and she's kind of surrounded by swords, but she's unable to move. She feels restricted. She may feel trapped. She may feel that she doesn't have the confidence or the belief in herself to move or to take a step forward. And sometimes when we feel that way, we just feel stuck. We feel stagnant. We may feel down and maybe down and out. We also may have an idea that uh, we're alone and nobody's here to support us. So always an interesting card because it is this self, um, uh, it's this perhaps this strong sense of self and of something that you don't have, which is you feel that you can't move and that you can't see things and that you can't st take a step forward. So with the eight of swords, it's important to think about what we see here, which is she's blindfolded, her body's bound, but her feet are not. And it's a matter that ultimately, either with support or not, She's got to try to take a step forward that she could crawl away. She could uh, blindly, you know, just try to get at it and to get out of there. That sometimes when you want to change your circumstances, you really have to try to take that first step. And sometimes we have support and someone who can help us get that first step or we have to go it alone. So there's a sense here of feeling restricted or trapped, or maybe oppressed in a sense. So with that feeling, that's a heavy feeling, here's the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups, knights can be messengers, they can bring offers, um, they're often out on quests, and here is this gentle knight who reveals his face underneath the helmet and who is holding out the cup, offering support offering perhaps love, offering tenderness and attention and providing the attention. So this Knight of Cups is a water sign. Perhaps there's someone within your life this week who's going to reach out to you, who's going to lend that hand, who's going to talk to you and maybe help you see things through or to help you get out of the space and the headspace that you're in. So this Knight of Cups can suggest it's the, it's the emotional part of a relationship, which is expressing these emotions, which is caring and being tender and kind-hearted to others. That may very well be in terms of this Eight of Swords, and it also could be for some of you that you're dating and that you encounter or you go out on a couple dates with someone who's like a Knight of Cups, who's very sweet, sensitive, romantic, and dreamy. And perhaps who is offering an opportunity for you maybe to start dating or whatever it may be, a spark or a connection. So let's see what we have. So in terms of guidance, we have the Nine of Cups and we have the Magician. Magician's Major Arcana. So the Nine of Cups, we see the man sitting here, folded his arms. He's kind of smugly smirking, or is he smiling? And he's sitting below his Nine Cups. And hey, look at this. I've got Nine Cups. Life is good. My wishes have come true. I have wish fulfillment here. I've set that wish, and the life that I want is here. I've found 
through all this yellow in this illustration, I found the sun and the feeling of, of brightness. You know, I have that sense of brightness coming. And so here's a, it's a indication of, of, um, appreciating what you have, enjoying what you have, enjoying the comforts of your home, what you maybe have worked hard behind the scenes. Maybe you've had to endure some self-doubt, some negativity of being trapped, but here on the upside, your relationship, maybe it's improved. Maybe you have a relationship to be thankful for. Whatever it is, you have support and tenderness coming to you. You have wish fulfillment. Set your intention. Here's wish fulfillment. And then it gets better when we have the magician. Because the magician is about creation and it's about manifesting. So for those that are trying to manifest a relationship and something loving and deep, this is very possible here. The magician allows you to take your skills, your talents, your abilities, you know, divine sources provided you with everything you need, but it's a matter of you turning it into reality instead of just the possibility or the potential or the unrealized dream. It's taking action and it's having initiative. You play a part in your future by what you choose to think, what you choose to believe and what you choose to do. And you design that plan for your life. And you take the steps little by little. So we have opportunities for new beginnings. We have opportunities for, you know, manifesting in creation, whatever it may be. If it's a new hobby, if it's a new career path, if it's a new location, if it's a uh, significant relationship. And then we have the nine of cups wish fulfillment, set your intention, enjoy the abundance within your life. We have tenderness and support. We have a self doubt and negativity here, which we can get out of with support. So in terms of possible outcomes, we have the ACE of swords and we have the six of cups, the ACE of swords, ACEs are gifts or blessings or direct messages from the universe telling you, here's the sword. The sword is powerful. It's sharp. It gives you a keen awareness. It gives you, uh, something to slice through all the drama and all of the nonsense for you to get to the heart of the matter for you to see, for you to see things clearly, to gain clarity and to gain the truth. Mostly though, however, it inspires you to use your head and to be smart in how you do things in your life. Take the time to think things through. Take the time to engage your strategy when you have setbacks, when you have down times. This Ace of Swords is about inventive thinking. It's about thinking out of the box. It's your thinking. You may be coming up with a new plan, a new approach. And with this Ace of Swords, here we have the, the six of cups and we see the joy of kindness between two children exchanging without expectation. You may be receiving a gift or you may be the benefactor of some generosity from someone. And the six of cups is about kindness. It's about these cups overflowing with flowers and beauty and good feelings. For some of you, perhaps this is a you're thinking of past times, of nostalgia, of memories, memories that make you feel good, memories that make you feel happy. Uh, and in a literal sense, perhaps some of you are meeting up with people from your past, maybe uh, former colleagues or uh, old friends that you haven't touched base with, old family members you haven't seen in a while, but it brings comfort. It can bring, um, again, it's more of this good feeling and this kindness between people here that we focus on. And there's a lot to be thankful for when we have good relationships and support, when we have abundance with the nine of cups, when we are in charge of our future, when we use our head as well, have a lovely set of cards for the week. Let's see what we have in terms of a, uh, affirmation for the week.
prosperity. The universe is pouring its abundance out to you. Be open to receiving. Fabulous message. Wonderful. Be open to receiving. And let's see what we have in terms of a uh, love oracle. Have faith. Trust your faith in this situation. And I think that's an important word to think about. Have faith really connects to the magician. Because the magician has faith in himself and his abilities. And so you should too in all aspects, in relationships and in, in love of self and love of others. This is what I have for you for the week. I hope that you found something helpful here today with this reading. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, share this video, comment below. I hope you have a wonderful week. I wish you a very happy new year and I will see you soon. Take care.